Hello, everyone. It is such a delight to be here with you for this event. As you may be able to tell from my accent, I am from Australia, the land down under, and it's just such a privilege and a delight to be joining you today to talk about the emerging generation of consumers that we are leading and engaging with in our workplaces, in our communities. Uh, they're, they're so different to the generations that maybe you and I are a part of in terms of being Generation Z and Generation Alpha. So my session today is going going to be all about the times and the world that is shaping our emerging consumers. Uh, at McCrindle, we are often described as social researchers. We love to talk about trends and insights, and we are often described as futurists or demographers. Before I end, I wanted to just share really quickly a couple of responses and ideas around these changing times in light of everything you've heard from this conference, from the brilliant communicators and speakers that have graced this stage and the different work labs. We've, we've, we've heard a lot about it's a unique moment in history, a unique time. We're on the brink of a lot of societal transformation and, and change. We've experienced a lot through the pandemic and Generation Alpha have experienced a lot in their 13 years or under 13 years. And I think it is an opportunity now for us to respond rather than just react to the changes that we're experiencing. To refocus rather than just resume the norm that we had maybe prior to the pandemic and to reimagine the new rather than rebuild the old and the way that we always did things. And thriving organizations and thriving leaders have got to hold, I think, the tension of those things, of working out what is timeless and what has worked well, but also innovating for the future. And I love this quote that we wrote in a book that we released a couple of years ago, which says, the strength of an organization comes from its stories and traditions, but the future of an organization rests in its relevance and innovation. So working out what is timeless, what do you hold on to, what do you take with you into the future as you maybe tweak and adapt a few ways that you do things, that you engage, particularly as you seek to understand and attract and motivate and lead Generation Z and Generation Alpha. Obrigada and thank you very much.